Okay, this video is about how to improve fertility for men and for women. Okay, first thing for men, don't fry your balls. Stay out of the sauna. Just say no to hot tubs. Don't put your phone in your front pocket. Um, it's a low power microwave transmitter. Every day you'd be microwaving your balls. No laptop on your lap. Avoid tight underwear. Okay, when it's hot, you're not, okay? You want to just let them be free like they normally are supposed to be, a little cooler than the rest of your body, better sperm production. Avoid dairy. Dairy often has a lot of high estrogen because the cows are engineered to make uh, milk while they're pregnant, and a pregnant cow has very high estrogen levels. Even if you've got the enzymes to split the milk sugar, lactose, into glucose and galactose, the galactose itself is thought to possibly be harmful to the testes. You might not have the enzymes to metabolize the galactose. Same thing for ovaries in a woman. Avoid dairy. Okay, next thing is avoid meat. Meat not only will often contain high estrogens, estrogens are given to CAFO, concentrated animal feeding operation animals, to help them grow faster, but they also change your gut bacteria. And meat-related gut bacteria will often have more of an enzyme called glucuronidase. The body excretes estrogen from the liver into the bile, conjugated to a chemical called glucuronic acid. And then we defecate it out of our bodies to lower our estrogen levels to the appropriate amount. Well, when you eat a lot of meat and processed food, you'll tend to get gut flora that contain more of the glucuronidase enzyme, which will deconjugate the estrogen, leading it to be reabsorbed into your body, so raises estrogen levels. Uh, I recommend you do not eat soy or flax. They are both very high in estrogens, which can, have, again, potentially have an effect on your fertility. Um, they also, the soy in particular, potentially might have an effect to lower uh, thyroid function, which is also not good if you're trying to get pregnant. Um, next thing, whole house carbon water filter. You want that because it removes estrogens. Um, estrogens are all carbon-containing compounds, and um, those are kind of expensive, about 1500 bucks. However, you want to lower your estrogen. That'll look, lower them for everything. Um, it's good to eat a diet low in fat, low in sodium, whole food, 100% organic. Some of the herbicides in non-organic food tend to be estrogenic, like atrazine in particular, but the other ones as well, um, potentially. Vegan diet is recommended and um, that will help to lower estrogen levels and it also helps prevent atherosclerosis which helps prevent plugging up the arteries to the Johnson. Exercise is good, you know, mild to moderate exercise. Um, men, even heavy exercise is okay for a man to, depending on how, what you're doing, I would potentially be careful about, you know, running ultra marathons uh, at this time. All right, don't be fat. Um, by eating a whole food plant-based diet, you'll probably be skinny. The average body mass index of a low-fat vegan is probably around 23. So uh, meat eater, junk food eater starts getting up around 30 and more. Because uh, being fat, the fat tissue has more aromatase enzyme to convert testosterone into estrogens. You don't want that. Um, it's associated with lower sperm counts and poor sperm motility. Okay, now some things uh, relating more specifically to women. A good rule of thumb is you want to be like Adam and Eve, but with indoor plumbing and heating. A uh, woman should eat the same diet as men, as that helps prevent obesity. Um, galactose, as we said, can also harm the ovaries. Do not be promiscuous. Sexually transmitted diseases are very common, and they can scar off your tubes. A reverse osmosis filter in the kitchen also helps uh, even more thoroughly remove uh, other chemicals as well in the water, um, including F minus. Um, no caffeine, you'll sleep better. No tobacco or no alcohol. Healthy mom increases likelihood of a healthy baby. Um, again, no soy or flax. Avoid perfumes, cosmetics, deodorants, laundry detergents, dishwasher detergents. Um, they contain estrogen preservatives. You should really read a little bit about estrogen chemistry. It's amazing how ubiquitous it is. But once you recognize it, it's easy to avoid. And again, that rule of thumb, if Adam and Eve couldn't do it, you don't do it. Don't be putting sunscreen on yourself, no moisturizers. Minimize cosmetics. They almost all of them have some type of estrogen preservative. 
minimize your exposure to cleaning chemicals and soaps and shampoos. They often contain one or two or sometimes even three estrogen chemicals inside of them. Estrogen chemicals are fantastic preservatives. They're in almost everything. Uh, that's why you really have to be a minimalist if you want to minimize estrogen exposure. Both from preservatives like the parabenzoic acids called parabens to the fragrances uh, typically called phthalates. Also, have your babies at a younger age. You know, the, the more a woman extends her education and delays having babies, the less kids she's likely to have if she's able to have kids at all. Uh, infertility is very common and it's only becoming more common. Optimize your health for at least four months before trying to conceive. You know, make sure you're off your birth control pills, you've optimized your diet, you've minimized all your estrogenic exposures. Because if, if you're having hormonal problems or health problems, you might not be able to be pregnant and it also it increases your risk of having a miscarriage. Uh, mild to moderate exercise is good. The most important thing is your body weight, not so much the exercise, but your body weight with regard to how fertile you will be. Okay, a couple more fine points on minimizing estrogen. Store your water in glass. You don't want to be using BPA plastic because it's estrogenic. And if the, if the plastic says BPA free, that's a joke. They just substitute out some other compound in the center. You still have a phenol group on the periphery. The, the, the point being a phenol group is a part that binds the estrogen receptor. So uh, BPS essentially is likely to have about the same effect as BPA, which is a powerful estrogenic effect. Avoid touching thermal receipts, you know, because those can, like dissolves like, BPA, estrogens are lipids. Your skin is primarily lipid, so it will dissolve through your skin and get into your body. So try not to touch it. Just tell them to put it in the bag, okay? Um, let's see, what else? Minimize soaps and shampoos. We talked about that. Avoid sunscreens. Avoid aluminum, you know, and so don't be using deodorant. Don't be putting your food in aluminum foil. Don't be eating anything out of cans. They typically have a can lining of aluminum that's often coated with BPA. So it's like a double estrogen exposure. Consider avoiding grains, especially any old or moldy grain, because they can potentially have zearolenone, which is a powerful estrogen. Be careful about carpets. Definitely no new carpets or recent carpets. You want to avoid them, because uh, they tend to be full of chemicals that can be relatively toxic. Um, Avoid vinyl shower curtains. The, the vinyl will contain estrogens. Plastic, you know, plasticizers are often phthalates. They sort of soften the plastic. BPA hardens the plastic. Um, no air fresheners, no scented candles. All these perfumes and fragrances that are very commonly contain uh, phthalates, relatively powerful estrogens. Avoid flame retardants, like, because uh, they tend to be estrogenics, okay? And for example, what'll that mean is, let's say you're doing a, a medical procedure. Well, a blue gown, a surgical operating room gown, will probably have estrogen flame, re flame receptors on it because they're, it's associated with working with cautery. Um, so they'll insist on flame retardants on it. But a lot of other gowns, just to prevent you from getting a splash or something while you're doing a minor procedure that doesn't require full 100% sterile, um, then wear that. That'll have less flame retardant on it. Be careful about new furniture purchases, new car purchases. Uh, they might have significant amounts of flame retardants. So, um, hope that helps.